Hi, this is Monty Faye. Thank you for coming with me in my journey. I first want to get my little disclaimer out. I am not a professional. I am not a doctor or dietitian or a counselor. You're coming with me in my journey. And I want to thank you for coming with me in my journey. I thought we could have a cup of coffee together. Um, and so I have a little talk, a little discussion. Um, so why don't you go get your cup of coffee? This is my cup. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody? I hope everybody is as fabulous as I am this morning. Um, definitely once I have my cup of gel. <laughs> But thank you, everybody. I am doing good. I am actually visiting my daughter who's in Colorado. They're stationed in Colorado. And it's been a fabulous, fabulous time. So what I wanted to talk about is this morning, plateaus. Um... And I just, I want to talk about these plateaus because that's what I'm embarking today um, in my journey. And so um, I want to say, um, I, I just want to say this. Um, I have had my VSG, I had a slave done about two years and about almost four months. And um, I am really, um, I lost a lot of weight, a lot of inches. Um, my clothes are fabulous, they fit me great. But I have been noticing, um, I had hit a plateau. I still was trying to get to a certain point, which was my, my gold weight. And I don't go by what the, you know, the, um, you know, how they go by the charts and, um, analytically speaking, I don't go right, I don't go with, you know, per se with their recommended, um, I think every one of us, our bodies are different and our bodies, um, you can't tell one person uh, everybody in a group that you have to do this to do that. It's not, it's every one of us are built differently and we have different frames and our body acts a certain way. And so I try not to go so much, go towards a statistics. I go by my experience. And no, I'm not a doctor and I'm not a professional, but unless the statistics had a VSG done or a gastric sleeve done and they walked in our shoes and it's pretty much then I'll listen but that is far far too far from you know near and I can only go by what I can explain and share what I go through in my in my journey and my walk of life um but I did I have hit a plateau and I've noticed that in this plateau um you really got to work a little bit more harder my skill has moved um but I have to reframe myself from this reading all this or hearing about all these negatives I try to stay out of that because this is my journey and so, um, but one thing I've noticed is that I started this smoothie challenge and I wasn't eating as much, um, the vegetables, the greens, the leafy. And I noticed that I, in my process, I was eating, I was craving a lot of sugar, a lot of sweets. And doing this smoothie has really, uh, it's really helped me out. I now do a smoothie with protein in it. So I get more protein, but the, when I started doing the smoothie, there was no protein. And so, um, 
I found myself um, just, um, do you get hungry? Yes, with the VSG, you get hungry. And whoever tells you that they're not hungry after two years or three is flat out lying. And so, yes, and you're gonna eat more. You're, 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 not, you're not having that, you know, the little bite here and a bite there. So um, what I've tried to do is I've really tried to, at my first two years, I followed everything. I was really strict. I lost a lot of weight. But you have to incorporate working out, exercising, whatever it is. Sometimes too much can hurt you or sometimes too little is not enough, but it's to each his own. So I just want to encourage you, you got to baby step it. And someone had said, um, you know, like running, they said a lot of people start exercising and then they don't see the results and then they fall off the wagon. Well, you have to be consistent in what you do. And so I just want to encourage you, your skill will move. And there's no such thing as a reset of pouch. You cannot reset pouches. Um, that's not even in the medical term, but you just have to make the right choices and eat the right foods. And so, you know, you can't go on being, you know, a certain way and being scared. You gotta learn your perimeters and your boundaries and where, and I know for me, I incorporated that smoothie and incorporated it and I started getting all the vegetables and the fruits and sometimes I still have an issue with salads and stuff and yet I still try to incorporate. So there's a lot of things that you can do for yourself and maybe to some other things work for them and they're more successful but I know for me is that exercising um, is good for me, it works for me. Even if I do a run or a walk or run and walk, it works for me. And um, I notice a big difference in having incorporating a smoothie a day. Um, I see it's, it's very, and then of course your vitamins, you're drinking the water, doing, you know, but if you don't get up and exercise one day, don't beat yourself up. If you made a mis if you if you made a wrong choice, and you fell off the bed, the wagon, the little bang wagon, get back up. So you have to just take it one day at a time, and you can't be so hard on yourself. And it's like, oh my God, I shouldn't have eaten that piece of cake, or a piece. I shouldn't have eaten that Reese's candy bar, or I shouldn't eat that fries. Well, my God, you know what? You gotta live. Is there, you know, if you sit there and you deprive yourself, then you're gonna go full flush, and you're just gonna, you're just gonna go ham. So, if I want something, I'll take a little bite or I'll eat a little bit, and then that's it. But then I'm not all day long, can you know, thinking of it and being like, oh my God, I, oh my God, oh my God. You can't do that. So you have to learn to self-control and you have to learn to, and believe me, I sometimes I'll eat a piece of little bread. I've taken out a lot of carbs out. You know, I a lot of it, I don't eat as much as carbs, but my son-in-law taught me how to put a little something in my smoothie, which I'll show y'all later on. But, you know, we, we have the bad carbs and we have the good carbs. And sometimes incorporating those will help you. So I just want to thank you. Um, don't be so hard on yourself and take it one day at a time. And just baby step it all the way and you will see your results. Don't sit there and be so hard on yourself because you're not where you're supposed to be at at this time this day and this year come on now one step at a time one day at a time one month at a time one year it's going to be okay you're in you're doing a good job when you make you know you're doing the best you can 
and pat yourself. Hey, pat yourself on the shoulders and your back. Don't get discouraged and, and get um, weary and well-doing. Don't faint. It's going to be okay. So this is Mighty Faith. I want to thank you for coming with me in my journey. I want to encourage you. You can do it. Just take your just take them baby steps. A baby doesn't learn how to walk. It doesn't learn how to crawl overnight. The baby starts lifting up her head or his head. They learn how to scoot, scoot, scoot. And then they learn how to crawl and they learn how to roll around. And then they master the crawling. Then they go on to the next stage. Well, it's the same way for results and it's the same way for this journey. It ain't going to happen overnight. You have to be realistic. How long did it take you to be overweight? How long did it take us? It took me. I, I was overweight for a long time. It took me a long time. And it's going to take me some time. And I'm okay with that. You have to be okay, too, with that. Patience is a virtue. So I just want to encourage you. It's going to be okay. And you got this. So it's every day strive. You know, you have to you have to just go for them stars. Every day, every day I make the right choice. Every day I make a choice. So I just want to encourage you. Do I have good days? Absolutely. Do I have bad days? All the time. But it's what you do with them bad days. So even it out and work it out. Thank you for coming with me and my journey. This is Maddie Faith. Ciao.